the design of the Omnixi clock required shorter bases. So as you can see here, the new circuited bases are five millimeters shorter. This introduced additional complexity into the problem because we have to work on the tolerances on the glass seal. Here we have a tool that will help us to tell whether the colon tube seal is made well or not. Uh, we are following two parameters. One of them is length of the bottom seal and another one is distance of the seal from the anode. The length of the seal is important uh, because if it is too long then we would not hide it into the base. This is not such a problem with the long base for the pure Nixie clock because you have more room in it. But for the Omnixie clock it will be more challenging because the, the base is not that high. And the second parameter, the distance of this edge to anode tells us about the final height of the colon tube because if it is let's say too much then we will end up with colon tubes of different heights so we have also limited room in this short uh, in this short base to compensate for different heights and because all this is done by hand uh, it's a it's a challenge with this tool we test for these parameters i align the anode with this edge here and i check for the for the bottom of the seal the bottom must not extend over this edge so in this case it's good and at the same time the edge of the original diameter of the glass must be below this this cube if the edge is above this cube it will be too close to the anode and the colon tube would be too low so here this colon tube is good you see that we have this edge aligned with this one and at the same time the edge is below the cube here here we have another colon tube and here you can see that the lower edge of the seal is inside of the tool that's correct it doesn't extend over it but here this edge of the original diameter of the glass is is above this edge so it's too close to the anode so this colon tube will be rejected because it would result in too low colon tube and visually it would not align in the clock According to the plan, last week was the first week where we needed the Cerakoted bases and in the previous video you saw that we had a problem with the quality from the supplier. So we didn't have them ready, so we had to set up improvised solution, uh, our small paint booth and coat it ourselves. So that went well. And at the same time we sandblasted the Cerakote from the bases and got the Bases delivered back to supplier. So this way we secure the bases for the manufacturing and there is no delay and everything is running according to the plan. And we also have back the Cerakoted bases from the paint shop. So let's look at the result. Good news, out of the 80 pieces that we sent for the circle coating this time, 72 are absolutely flawless. And eight of them were rejected for really, really minor defects. Like here, you can see that this edge is not the same shade, it's a little bit lighter. So there are a couple of bases like this. It's not maybe even visible on the phone. 
so this is one of the things. Another one here. There is a small defect here in this place. And another type of the defect is here on the edge. There are some rough pieces. I don't know what this, what this is. Okay, so these eight pieces will be sandblasted again and sent for, sent for another cell coating. So that's it. The process looks reliable now. So we have 72 pieces ready for the next week patch and we'll prepare more of the bases for the sandblasting and cell coating after the new year.